Penn State gets a charge from a vault that's right now in motion. To demonstrate national leadership in the development of global citizens through integrated research, education, and outreach efforts that advance the ethic and science of sustainability. That's the mission statement of Penn State's Center for Sustainability, and through projects like participation in the Solar Decathlon competition and the construction of the Sustainability Experience Center, they are maintaining that mission on a daily basis. General Motors today made an investment in the Center for Sustainability that hopefully will reap benefits for years to come. During a ceremony held at Foundry Park, located on the University Park campus, Greg Slusher, engineering group manager for body structures at Chevrolet, on behalf of GM, donated a Chevrolet Volt to the Center for Sustainability to further research in sustainable energy. The Volt is an electric car that can use gas to extend its range and has been rated as one of the most fuel efficient cars sold in the United States. Having an electric car lets us really experiment and demonstrate the impact of electric transportation and the grid and home energy economies. So a lot of people don't, uh, haven't had the chance to see, for example, um, how an electric car would affect their monthly uh, payments for gasoline and utility and maintenance costs. And having one will really let us show that off and, and help show how an electric vehicle can complement a very energy efficient home and solar and wind power. And uh, having those things combined as a system is a, is a very powerful communication tool. We've had a very long relationship with General Motors. First of all, they've hired many of our graduates who've gone on there to work. And second of all, they've supported many of our student groups and now have supported the Center for Sustainability, as well as another, a number of other elements around the university. And so it's a very strong and powerful relationship that benefits both the university and General Motors. The solar carport is just one facet of the learning grounds, the nine-acre facility located off Porter Road just below Medler Park. The Volt will reside at the carport and get recharged by the completely renewable energy of the sun. The carport construction was funded by a $30,000 donation from Chevrolet in 2010. Greg Slusher, who is also a 1985 mechanical engineering Penn State alumnus, along with GM, is committed to this research beyond the commercial success of the Volt. But as far as the research goes, we found over time that there's a lot of research projects Penn State does that overlap with what General Motors is looking for as well. And, as, and we also come back here and have uh, meetings with them to kind of help tell them where we're headed as a company so they can then structure their research projects in the future to help support us. So there's been a lot of synergy over time between us and Penn State. So the center's nine acre site is open to the public and increasingly we have opportunities to show off systems uh, like wind power and solar energy and energy efficient building design and now electric transportation. And uh, we uh, invite people to come out and check out what's going on if they're on campus for different events uh, and on our website they can learn about our office hours and, and times that they can learn more about what's going on. Reporting from Foundry Park on the University Park campus, I'm Renee Gornick for In Motion.